Some teams say they're all in. Some teams just go out and act all in. The Eagles, in their pursuit of Saquon Barkley this year from the Giants, acquiring a piece that could put them over the top. Harry Roseman on with Sirius XM, Mad Dog Radio's Adam Shine on the decision to pursue and sign Saquon Barkley in the offseason. Here's what Howie had to say. Well, first, you hit on the player. I mean, this is a difference-making player, and also we think a difference-making person. You know, we've just kind of watched him from afar and all the big runs he had against us, you know, and just knowing that how I feel playing against him, knowing that every time he had the ball that anything could happen. You know, you could be looking at a house call. You get to a situation where you kind of try to find, is something kind of being undervalued? Is there a way to zig when everyone's zagging? Or I don't know if it's the opposite and you're freaking zagging when zigging. (laughs) But but it's hard to find difference-making players and people. And it's hard to find them for kind of, you know, a, a cost. You know, there's risk in every decision you make, but we don't think there's any risk on the talent. We don't think there's any risk on the person. Um, he's still young, and um, we're really excited to have him. They've seen him twice a year during his entire career, so they know him. They know they what do. they're getting. That's right. And the Giants had every opportunity, and this is what the Eagles do. And they had a need, and this is a guy that can supercharge their offense if he stays healthy, and they're willing to take that risk. And when when you are as good as the Eagles have been, That makes it easier to roll the dice on a guy that, you know, if he gets injured, it gets called a failure. They just understand there's a chance he's going to get injured. It's the position that he plays. Yeah, but it's, it's, you know, the reward factor is way bigger. And he he almost slipped up there and was basically like, we got this player for that cost? I mean, that's what he was basically saying. That's what he was saying. He tried to, like, put it in some nice way. But, yeah, anytime, anywhere guy. He's special, and he's going to be a lot more special behind that O-line. And you're worried about A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith and Dallas Goddard, Goddard and damn Jalen Hurts might keep the ball around the edge. right? I'm excited for Saquon and what he can do. And I want to say this to the Giant fans out there. Stop booing Saquon and getting on him. What are you doing? The Giants didn't do right by Saquon. It's not the other way around. Applaud Saquon on how professional it was and how awesome he was as a Giant. The Giants did not make him an offer that was even competitive to what the Eagles did. You can't blame him for going there and doing that. That's crazy talk. That really is. Giant fans should know that. They're better than that. We talked about this Friday when you were in your hammock with your pina colada and your and your bong. Yeah. Uh, it's just it's just it goes with the territory because Saquon was pushing back against getting booed. Yeah. And yeah. It just. I like his it, response. <laughs> It, but, but you know, that's what fans do. They're yeah. rooting for the laundry. Yeah. And he's the guy that, that is perceived as the turncoat from the Giants to the Eagles. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.